guys, it's Captain Ridge Murphy here, and if you're ever in Tavernier, you definitely need to come by Randy Tiles Rod Shop. You get yourself a custom built rod, and it, honestly, it's just a place that you need to come check out. So come on inside and check it out. What's going on, Randy? The doctor at his work. What's up? What you got? I'm trying to figure this out, and I can't get the right <laughs> the right tip top to go on it. You know, here we are at the new Isla Mirada Fishing Outfitter Shop. And as you can see, I still have my wrapping table. Don't go anywhere without it. My turning machine to turn the rods for the epoxy. And all the magic happens here. This is where I do all the wrapping and finishing. And, um, you know, I spend a lot of time here. If I'm not on the water, this is where you're going to find me. And it can be, you know, making anything. Light, light rods like this for kids for Christmas or you can get really super heavy duty and go with the solid teak offshore rods. It's something very unique and it's different. Um, very time consuming and like everything, you know, time and materials are what make the cost of different things, you know. So some guys uh, don't want to spend the money with all the, all the uh, bells and whistles and some people do. And if you do, I'm your guy. <laughs> We've got clothing going on. Um, behind you, which we're getting more and more in all the time. This area right here is a tackle station, and it's, it's actually, I built it with the tackle in mind so that if you're going to go fishing and you come in and you want to go to the backcountry, most people say, what do I need? I'll be able to hand them a box like this and say, Ridge, here's everything you need to go in the backcountry. You got jig heads, you got some soft plastics, you got some hooks, you've got some jigs in there everything you could possibly need it's forty nine dollars for the whole box you're good to go and i'm going to take the guesswork out of what you need to go fishing with forty years of experience i can tell you what the dolphin are going to bite what the tuners are going to bite tarpon i mean pick your poison pre-made leaders you know a lot of times when you're out on the boat making a leader in the heat of the moment is uh... pretty frustrating so i have leaders where you can buy them already pre-coiled there's 24 liters on these spools, 5-0 hook, 40 pounds, 7-0, 50 pounds, depending on what you're doing, kite fishing, slow trolling with the ballyhoos, mutton snappers, bottom fishing. There's a, a, a ton of different scenarios where these will come into play. But that's kind of the unique part of the shop between my rods, the tackle selection. It's not like your traditional tackle shop with everything on the walls, which take up a lot of space. I don't have a lot of space, so I'm trying to utilize everything, and that's what this particular table does. And then as we go around the corner, we've got, we've got reels. We're going to have Daiwa, Shimano, and Penn in stock, and LPs and hookers, which are what people use for uh, deep dropping, as you know. And then sunglasses. We've got a Flying Fisherman sunglasses and gloves and sun bandits. And then you get in to the really crazy stuff, which would be rod selection. And there's backcountry rods, offshore rods, fly rods, pretty much anything that pertains to going fishing, I'm going to be able to make or have in stock for you. However you want it, mild to wild, we can make it. And um, a line of reels as well, sage reel, nautilus reels, uh, T-bores, uh, Rio fly lines, uh, Cortland fly lines, and just all the, all the missing pieces to make your day great and have the right equipment to do it is what I'm trying to have in a small shop like this. So as you can see this display would be more keyed to offshore fishing. Um, sailfish spinning rods, kite rods, now these are with teak so they're pretty fancy. Um, here's some rods for a guy out of Ocean Reef. He's got a, a whole set of these, about 80 of them as a matter of fact. Um, these rods here are for uh, a guy in Fort Lauderdale. Um, so some of this is sold, some of it's inventory. This is a, a small set in inventory. And um, a lot of this stuff sits here waiting for people to pick it up. And then in the meantime, what I try to do is build a lot of rods. So this rack you'll see rods that are built and painted. They have the grips turned down on them. You know, if you look at this rod, for example, 
the grips aren't shaped on it. This is what it looks like before I make them look like this. So all of my grips are shaped on the metal lathe and all the contours are the same. So I have inventory of rods that are built, which is time consuming. And some people don't want them painted, some people do. And I can get the job done a lot quicker when I have this part of the, the order already made. It, uh, it goes a lot quicker. But there's rods in here, 8 to 10 pound spinning rods all the way up to 20 and 30 pound spins. This is more of a backcountry selection. And then you get on this rack, and again it shifts offshore a little bit more into spinning rods, kite rods, trolling rods, and that sort of thing. So there's about 160 rods right here that you see. Each one of these displays can hold about 80 rods. Well, there you guys have it. From custom built rods to reels and even tackle all the way down to apparel. Randy's got it going on. You guys need to make sure to come by and check them out. And if you guys like videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe.